Hi friends, it's Miss Lauren and today we're going to be learning how to make an ocean in a bottle. In your clover bud box, you should have this piece of paper, which is the instructions for the ocean in a bottle. You should also have a bottle of vegetable oil. Some other things you will need are some food coloring. I like to use blue because when I think of the ocean, that's what color I think of. A funnel and a plastic water bottle and I already filled mine about one third of the way with water. So if you haven't done that already, do that and then we'll be back to do more. So once you have your bottle filled one third of the way with water, we're gonna be taking our blue food coloring and adding just a couple of drops. So I did about five drops and it's starting to mix in. We're going to put the cap back on. And you're just going to shake it a little bit to mix the food coloring in. You don't need to shake it too much, just enough that it gets mixed. We're going to take the cap off, put our funnel into the top, fill the bottle to about this line with our vegetable oil. So I will come back when that is all done. So now I've filled my bottle most of the way with the oil, and I'm going to put the cap back on really tight. Now, if you shake it, you see it's all mixing, but then watch what happens as it begins to settle. So you can see that my vegetable oil is starting to collect on the top where my blue food coloring is staying on the bottom. So at this point right here, I like to think of it as the different layers of the ocean. The bottom layer doesn't get much sunlight at all, almost none, so it's really dark. This middle section gets some sunlight, but it's also pretty close to that dark part. And then the top gets the most sunlight. Now this will continue to separate and maybe think about why this is separating with the ingredients we use. We use oil and water. So maybe if you've been cooking, you've seen that kind of reaction where they separate and how they have different densities. That's a big science vocabulary word that maybe you don't know much about. But the density of water is much different than the density of oil, which is why they separate when they mix and come in contact with each other. So if you let this continue to sit, it will go back to the original state and then you can start over again and shake it up again. Try showing this to your friends and family and seeing if they can figure out why it separates and then you can tell them it's density. Thanks for joining us for this camp in a box video. We'll see you next time.